It's going to blow up. You're tuned in to Don't Plan It Live Behind The Scenes. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to be a part of the team, yeah? If you in a 7-1, boy, make that bitch run. If you in a 7-2, make it do what it do. If you in a 7-3, see it slide like a G. What's good, fam? Another day, another video. What's going on? What's going on, fam? What's going on? You hear me? Hope everybody out there having a productive day, you hear me? Y'all already know, man, we out here grinding, getting that footage. I want to motivate y'all to get up there and grind too. But whatever you got going on, you understand me? Chase your dreams, chase your goal. You feel me? Like I always say, any day above ground is a beautiful day. So if it's a beautiful day, why not get out and chase your goals? Why not get out and chase your dreams? Why not get on and work on yourself, you hear me? Real talk, man. Get out there, make it happen, fam. It's not gonna fall in your lap. But today, we bring you all that footage, man. We in Orlando with it today, man. We in Orlando with it today. We had to come get footage of Seraphim 75. Very beautiful vert. We had to come get that footage of it, man. We currently in Orlando with it with Seraphim 75. Seraphim, you feel me? Sells the best coffee in the world, you hear me? So we out here finna check them out and see what's popping with this 75, man. Appreciate y'all that's tuned in right now. If you're new to the channel, watch the full video. If you like what you see, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. Select all, you hear me? You gotta select all. Turn on the post notifications because you don't wanna miss the don't giveaway. That's right, the don't giveaway. We giving away a 1973 two-door hardtop. Don't very solid car. You could build it to your liking once you win it. Whoever wins it, you feel me? We know one lucky subscriber, one of the DPF, DPF stands for Don't Planet Family. One of the DPF people out there is going to win that 75. So make sure you have the post notifications turned on, you hear me? So you get a notification when we post that content. We're giving it away once we hit 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. How do you enter to win the giveaway, Don't? Basically, you got to subscribe to Don't Planet YouTube channel. Click that notification bell. Select all, you hear me? After you subscribe on Don't Plan a YouTube channel, there's a bell. You click that notification bell, you select all to turn on the post notifications because part of the requirements is watching and commenting on videos on Don't Plan a YouTube channel. So you got to get the notification to know when we post content so you can watch and comment on the videos, you understand me? Also, you got to spread the word and tell everybody you know that like don'ts about the Don't Plan a Don't Giveaway and tell them to subscribe to help us get our subscriber count up to 200,000 and then we'll be giving a don't. Even if a person don't like don'ts, somebody that just appreciate cars, they definitely might be able to appreciate don'ts, you hear me? But y'all see behind me over here, man. Y'all see that 75, that red thing back there, man. We got to go check that out, you hear me? Um, also, there's a link in the description of this video that'll take you to don'tplanet.com where you'll be able to check out the merch that we have available. We got shirts, hats, hoodies, beanies, all that. Check it out. Also, there's a link in the description. I'm put, Also, I'm going to start putting the links in the description of the video. So if you want to go check out the giveaway donk as well, you check the, uh, there's a link in the description of this video that'll take you to the video where you can see what the giveaway donk look like, you hear me? But anyway, man, let's get into this video. Let's see what the Serenity 5, Seraphim 75 got going on, you hear me? Here you go right here, fam. 1975 Caprice. Convertible, 454. Detail to the T. Down here in Orlando, Florida. Owned by Serafin de Besa, AKA Bobby. You hear me? Got the 28s on there. Woo, y'all drop them comments, man. This thing here is nice. It's nice, you hear me? Detail to the T. Detail to the T. What's up, Bobby, man? Oh, what's, what's going up, on? What's up, man? I want to thank you for coming all the way down from Miami, man, making the trip, man, a three-hour drive to come down here and see this car, man. I've had this car for 
Man, it's gonna be about four years. I bought the car. It's the original car from Meekum. Mm -hmm. Car K133 from the Meekum auction, man. Matching numbers, 454, big block. Matching numbers we ran. I got all the full books and records from the original day the car was even born. Yeah. Um, the car was actually owned by the owner of Berger Chevrolet's wife in Canada. Mm -hmm. So it was imported, part of a private collection. You know, Meekum has all the insane vehicles that go through there. This car has history. I put about another 60 into it with my own design. I wanted to keep it as original as possible because I always love my car original. Mm -hmm. It has billet pieces, Forgiato, everything. Grill, Forgiato gas pedal, I mean, rear view mirror, door sills, everything has been done for this car. I mean, music, convertible top, canvas top, Forgiato boot, you know, stitching with the boot as well. Yeah. You know, right here, stitch to match the car, to match the paint. Oh wow, you see the everything, boot. everything, everything. Yeah, man, right here. There's the boot. There's a convertible boot right here. Okay, everything done. Everything nice. done. Everything done right. Everything done right. This car is actually, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like I said, it's an original 454 big block, matching numbers. You can actually get in this car and drive it. Look at me scratching it up already, like always. Oh, nice. uh, you know, I got the scratch remover. You can actually get in this car and drive it all the way across the US. Okay. There's not a single leak under my car. Mm -hmm. The one thing I have always done since I've been building cars, I go way back to the original East Coast Riders Volume 1 okay. with Lance, yeah. okay? The first thing I have always done my whole life. All right, and I go back to with Lance to when it was digital wheels. I had a 71 hardtop Impala Custom, all right? Trick Daddy wanted to buy that car for me. I remember back in the days of 609, Coconut Grove. I drive by Coconut Grove now and it doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. People might look and say, yeah, I'm old. I'm 40 years old. I'm an old man. I've been doing this for a long time for the love of building the cars. You know, so this car specifically was one I designed throughout my whole life. I said I wanted a 75 because I already had the 71. So I put all my years of knowledge into this one car. Yeah. You know, everything that I did, I mean, looking for the car to be pristine, unmolested. Molested. Never, not one time, zero, clean, clean car. Clean, 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 clean car. From A to Z, motor. So when I get my cars, Drive to Vavilene, the first thing you do, and get all the seals done in the bottom of your car. Because mm -hmm. none of my cars, in the 30 years I have been around with these cars, have had one single leak. Not one. Not one time. Oh. Freeze plugs, check them. Your gasket where your headers meet, okay? Where your headers meet, all right, your block. Get Mr. Gasket, because those are like little, how can you call, exhaust leaks. Mm -hmm. Don't have those either. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mr. Gasket, close it right up, nothing. Purse like a monster. This is like looking for the original car. Mint was, was, was actually the hard part. Yeah. Looking for something that, and keeping it original, the inside is an example, all right? Mercedes-Benz diamond stitching. All right. Oh, okay, that's Mercedes-Benz diamond stitching. Diamond stitching is the style they use on Mercedes-Benz. Okay, the rugs that they put. All right, the rugs that they put in this thing. I think they were belly carpets, I think they told me. And I know these guys did this because the guys that did this car are the same guys that work also with this gentleman named Joe, Ultimate Auto, supposedly here in Orlando, supposed to be the best, Okay. you know? So those are the guys that did the interior for this car, right? So, I mean, everything I strive to always get it to be the best quality, because I've always taught people, quality over quantity. Quality over quantity. Yeah. Okay, quality over quantity has always been my number one thing my entire life. Quality over quantity, okay? Okay. I have taught that to a lot of people in business. I've taught that to a lot of people that have had the honor of working with me and meeting me. Life is about quality. There's something that's called quality of life. Quality of life is something that I strive to live. 
And that's what I strive to always teach people that I'm able to come in contact with. This car is a quality build that I, I, Serafin de Besa, some of you know me by Bobby, put my heart and soul into this build, mm -hmm. all right? I spent years locked up in a federal prison dreaming about building this car. Designing it in my head, what color combination I was going to use, reading the Rides magazine, the Dunk magazines, all the magazines to come up with the color combination, the color pattern, and everything from A to Z, how I was going to do it so that nobody was ever able to do the same thing again. Mm -hmm. That's what went into these, this vehicle right here, my heart and soul. That's what's up, man. A lot of you too. One of the questions I have for you, so you had a 71 back in the days, you say, right? 71, yes, sir. Back then, what size wheels were you riding? I had a set of 20-inch all-gold stamped Dayton's, all right? <laughs> the second set of real, honest-to-God, all-gold stamped Dayton's. I've been doing this for so long that I'm going to tell you guys, there was only one distributor in the entire state of Florida, and it was Dale's Tire wow. on Sunrise Boulevard. Wow. Dale's Tire was the only distributor for Dayton's. Wow. You know what they call Dayton's the Rolex of wheels. The Ro I see this you got is on my daily watch, guys. It's a Rolex, Rolex Daytona 116508 Military Green. Wow. All right? Nice. This is what I wear. Sure, so no, I wasn't in the service, but if I would have, I would have been gone at the, at the age I should have been gone because the discipline that I learned through life about giving back to the community and everything that I've been taught throughout my life has shown me that life is about service. Mm -hmm. It's about giving back. It's about helping. So always support the military. Always back the blue. Protect your community. And you know who we do it for, gentlemen? For the ladies and for the children. That's what we do it for. That's what every man's priority should be in life. Every day in my life, when I wake up and I put my shoes on, the first thing I think about, you know what it is? The safety of my girlfriend and her daughter when I leave my house. Yeah. Because that's what every man is supposed to think of, the safety of your woman and your child. That's what's up, that's what's up. Man. Okay, and that's what I teach. And you know what, that's what's had, what has allowed me to get to this stage in my life, to be able to do this. I might have gone introvert, some people say, I've hung out, I've partied, I've done all, I don't have a problem hanging out with people, but I have a problem with people that are not real. Mm -hmm. Everybody that knows me knows with me, what you're gonna get is gonna be 100% real. Even if it goes back to when I had my problem, the product was a 97.5% poodle. I don't talk, I walk, baby, I walk. I walk in black and white, you know? I don't like to talk about that, we can erase that. But I see, I like to have fun with people. And I like to have something that's called good, clean fun. Good, clean fun. Okay, that's what I teach, I teach. Everybody, that's why we have a coffee shop. I'm gonna be working with my boy Dunk Planet here as well. Okay, good, clean, fun. I have a beautiful coffee shop in Orlando, all right, that I wanna share with a lot of you guys when you guys come to visit with your family. I have the type of coffee that you can take home to grandma and grandpa. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the type of coffee that I have here. That's what's up. Okay, that's what's up. so yes, sir. So when you had the 71, you had 20s. Now you got this 75, you got 28. 28. So, like, how do you feel? I mean, cause from 20 to 28, that's a big jump. How do you feel like about the whole wheel size difference? Like, is, is it a how major difference? Well, is it a major how difference to you? I'm gonna tell you how I feel. This car has coilovers all around. Okay. Coilovers all around. Okay, coilovers all around. Front and back suspension. 28, no cuts, no rubs, actually. Just a little bit in the front, all right? Yeah. My rear end was sent out, actually, to a place here in Orlando that does all the cars. I don't remember, I gotta go back, man, because my phone had been hacked like 10 times. Okay. Okay, but the guy does really good work. Um, man, what's the guy's, American Motorsports. Okay. American Motorsports did my rear end. Okay, this car, like I said, was owned by the owner of Berger Chevrolet, his wife. Okay, so it has a rear end of a C10 because I went through a little bit of a situation when I was trying to get the Willwood brakes to be able to fit. So they had to make it the exact accurate size to be able to fit the wheels. I did have to switch out the barrels when I got the rims to make it fit accurately so there was no rubs, no nothing involved in the car to have it sitting the way that it's sitting right now. Mm -hmm. You know? That's what's up. To have it sitting just how it is. That's you what's know? up. Coilovers all around. Okay, I mean, I mean, listen, 
I even had the bumpers. When I bought the car, the car was in mint condition. I still took it. Like I said, I left from Mecham right to Vaveline. You bought this car from Mecham? From Mecham, yes, sir. Oh, wow. Well, I bought it from Mecham. I, I bought it from Mecham, yes. I bought it from Mecham. I bought it from Mecham. Not from Mecham. I bought it after Mecham. I saw it at Mecham. It didn't sell at Mecham. Okay. Yeah, it didn't sell at Mecham. It didn't sell at Mecham. I saw it at Mecham and I bought it. And I bought it. So, but then, right, listen to this. So, putting the car together, putting the car together, right, the coilovers, the tires, everything, the brakes, all right, uh, American Motorsports, ordering all, all the parts and all the pieces. The chrome came off. I sent it back out to California. They did triple show chrome on it. I ordered the pieces. Um, like I said, I mean, I mean, I can tell you about this car, bro. I mean, a lot, a lot, a lot. How long you been in the Don game? I was one of the originals with Lance from Candy on Chrome. What year, what year was it when you had that 71? I, I have, bro, years. It was 20 something years ago, bro. 20 something years it ago? It was a fucking long time ago, bro. Long, 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 long. As a matter of fact, a long time ago. Long time ago. Long time ago. Long time ago. Yeah. That's crazy. So well, I'd say, bro, I'm telling you, I have a picture of it. I have probably, I was 18 years old. You think And so? it was an original Tennessee car. Mm -hmm. An original Tennessee car that I bought in my old neighborhood that was owned by a Vietnam veteran, okay? And the vehicle actually had 17,500 original miles. Wow. Tennessee car, 1971 Impala Custom, okay? Um, it had a 350 small block, okay? Everything, every screw every nut and every bolt under that car had a moroso stamp on it mm. from the fucking beginning of the car to the end everything in that vehicle was a moroso everything mm. i had actually done straight pipes on that car you used to hear it all the way from barrow road in 67 all the way to corway in 67 when i used to hit that monster rolling dog <laughs> i'm talking about <laughs> It sounded like a freight train was coming right at you, boy. <laughs> oh, Everything man. that was in sight, broom. Yeah. It took it. Swallow hole. Oh, yeah? That was up. Swallow. That's what's up. That's I'm what's telling up. you, listen, if I was thinking about putting straight pipe, I originated the straight pipes in the thong. That was my shit. Okay. Because every police officer from every single agency will fucking pull you over with straight pipes back then. I was the only one running straight pipes. Mm -hmm. Believe me. Okay, straight pipes. I'm talking about, bro, you think that fucking Harley Davidson saw a lot, boy? I mean, look at here. Don't make me go put a couple more dollars into this car before I sell it in the auction <laughs> and put straight pipes in this motherfucker right here. Because I won't go to that fucking muffler shop and put straight pipes with you dumb planet while you're here, bro. I'm not even playing, brother. Mm -hmm. I put straight pipes on this shit, dog, and I'm not gonna make it home. I'm telling you, that motherfucker. Oh, it boy. gonna blow up. You wanna do it? Play fun. Find out who got straight pipes in town. I go with you to OBT and put some straight pipes on this motherfucker right now. All they gotta do is cut the back welder. Let's go, and I'll show you what I did, what I do. Wow. Oh, sir, you oh, you wanna roar? Wow. Oh yeah. Oh so, yeah. So for you, right, with the don't game, since you've been into it, since you've been in the don't game uh, for my whole life, your whole life basically. So. Uh, do you, uh, is it a major difference from you in the don't game from back then and now? Is it a major difference? In terms of building the cars, you mean? Building the cars, the culture period, how it was back then, What hurts me the most is that the culture, because people only bring their cars out when there's something involved in it for them, and I don't know that. Like I was telling you, I live out in Polk County, man. Yeah. And I went to the car wash with the car. When I was actually vacuuming my significant other's car at the car wash, and I saw some kids there with a the fucking lead hammer hitting their 15 inch fucking imitation wheels, but those are the kids I would ride with right now because I felt their heart and soul was into their car. And it reminded me of my childhood in the car wash in the corner where I grew up. Mm -hmm. Hitting the fucking wheel with the left hammer, I've been there, bro. And I, when I hear that, it hurts me because you know what? The car culture is something that we're supposed to share with the youth and share with the kids to bring them together. And us, as the older ones, we're supposed to teach them exactly. that unity, that love. Exactly. Because that's the car culture. Exactly. So when they tell me that people only come, I was like, no. That's what I said, dude, what happened to a write-off for a cause? You guys that live in Miami, you have Miami Children's Hospital, bro. 
You guys can do a ride out to go do donations from Miami Children's Hospital. You know how you know how good you're gonna make all those kids feel, man. Yeah. You guys got so much to offer in Miami, bro, that you don't have a clue. Like I said, let's do a ride out for a cause on 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 in October, Breast Cancer Week. You do a ride out for the Breast Cancer Association every weekend, and you guys pay each ten dollars, and you go to the Breast Cancer Association and say this is from the Dunk Riders in Dade County. You understand what I'm saying? Those mm -hmm. are the things you guys could be doing down there. Exactly. You guys can make such a big difference in the world, man. But we're going through all this shit right now. That is crazy. Do yeah. it. Do it for your grandparents. Do it for your kids. Do it for your future. Exactly. Exactly. It's about quality of life, like I told you. Quality build, quality of life. Exactly. I always believe quality over quantity. Mm -hmm. Quality over quantity. Quality over quantity has allowed me to live a life of balance. That's what's up. You know, a life of balance. And when I have lived a life of balance, it allows me to, to live at peace so I can teach it. Exactly. Grow from it, learn from it, and acknowledge. Exactly. Because we all have to plan for the future. You have to have stability. Every man's job is to bring stability to your family, to your household. Definitely. That's how I live. You know, that's, how, that's what I love about any events that we bring, to bring togetherness, to bring culture, bring unity, bring love. The party happens, but you have to bring the energy of all the good people with a good heart and a good soul together. That's the beauty of life. That's what I love about the card game. You know? So the card the card game has not been has not been like the culture. Where is it? It was erased. Let's ride for a cause. Let's bring togetherness. Let's bring family. Let's bring unity. That's true. See what I'm saying? That's how we do it. Yeah. That's how we do it. You know? and, and as far as this build right here, right? What made you wake up in the morning? Okay, for example, from the chrome trim down the middle of the car, the dash plate, the door jam seal, steering wheels, wheels. What made you wake up one morning and said that you're gonna do like the Forgiato thing? Because you got Forgiato. Because everybody was always talking Forgiato, Forgiato, but nobody was putting the, the time and the design into it. So I decided to create the design myself. Okay. That's why I did everything that Forgiato doesn't do. And I wanted to put together the creation and the artist, the art. These cars, believe it or not, they're not just cars. This is a work of art. Exactly. I collect art. I'm an art collector. This is a work of art. All of you that build cars, design your cars, put your heart and soul into your car, it's a work of art. That's what your cars are. So that's what I was explaining to you. How do I know that we're getting ready to have a car option? I can drive this car to Miami. How am I going to have somebody come and bid $80,000 on a car that can't make it from Miami? Orlando. Exactly. This is a hundred thousand dollar car all day long. LeBron James paid Ultima Auto two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for a car that looks nothing like this. Nothing like that this. That blue one? Yes. Nothing like this. I'm sorry. What do you think about LeBron James blue car? I, honestly, I would have not ever built that car for LeBron James. I would have not ever built that car for LeBron James. I would have built LeBron James something like this that he could give to his son with a matching numbers 454. When I grew up, bro. On 8th Street, right? On 8th Street between 67th Avenue and 62nd Avenue, there used to be a place that used to sell right next to, um, it was SunTrust Bank back in the day, okay? Yeah. It was a place that sold classic cars, that little corner slot lot right there, right next to a restaurant called La Langosta Loca, mm -hmm. okay? So La Langosta Loca, okay, it was there, okay, right next to that spot. My cousin Doreen bought her 57 Bel Air right there, a black and white one that she had many, many, many years. Okay, so I've seen these cars for many, many, many years. You know, this is nothing new, and I know because my cousin Louis, that my father knows, okay, that was married to my cousin for hundreds of years, my cousin Christopher's father, actually, he was a pilot, okay? And Louis was a, was a person that always, 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 always looked for cars to be perfect. Everything in his garage, not bulked, perfect. My cousin Chris, the same thing like me. Always clean, washing his hand. I told you to tell him sanitary, not sanitation. Mm -hmm. You know the movie. I told you mm -hmm. to tell him sanitary, <laughs> not sanitation. I live it. Yeah. Everything clean. Everything yeah. clean. Yeah. Everything clean. That's what's up, man. And I look that's at it like that, right? In my cars, in my builds, in whatever I do. And whatever I do, I design jewelry, bro. Look, jade pieces, dragons, emerald, emerald chains that nobody has, okay? I've been doing this for a long time. I do, you know what? These are things I designed myself. Yeah. These are things I've always done. You want the irony of it, even the jewelry, I've always shared it with people. 
I always tell people, yo, you're gonna buy your wife something, you're gonna buy, what do you wanna design for her? But let me help you with my people that I have in the diamond district. To design to help you, bro. You know why? Because this jewelry is an originality of who you are. It's a gift to give to your wife, to your kids. That's you know? true. That's and, true. And like I said, it's about quality, not quantity, bro. Being original. I have a collection of Day of the Dead statues that I pulled right here from Mexico. You've seen the art auction that we're getting ready to do. Yeah. Everything handmade, everything I have ever collected in my life is 100% original. Handmade. Handmade. Everything handmade. That's what's up. I've always been that person. Everything I've ever collected, everything I've ever built, whatever I invest in, my time, my heart, my soul into it, I've been 100% done with pure intentions. That's what I teach. That's good, that's good you methods know? to be teaching. That's what I've always taught, man. I've had the opportunity of working with a lot of people in the fitness industry, working with kids, I've worked with doctors. I've met a lot of interesting people, okay? And I always tell people the most important thing in life to work on yourself from within, because anything that you go to get involved in after that, it's already got a piece of you and it's pure and it's clean. Yeah. Like find find your purpose in life. I always tell people, when you find out why you're here on the planet, what you're doing, everything you do has a value. And because you're putting your heart and soul into it. That's culture. Just like with coffee. I we import coffee. The best coffee in the United States is not a lie. It comes direct from Colombia, right here. The type of coffee that Pablo Escobar drank with his grandfather. Okay, the type of coffee that you want to buy a bag and share with your grandparents or bring them to have coffee, culture. The car's got culture. It's part of the art culture. It's what's not explained. How many people have ever told you that a car's a work of art? I always told myself that. Well, so you know, so you I understand. I believe a car is a work of art. So you understand that. How, car, yeah. how many other people in an interview have ever told you that? Nobody. Well, so, yeah, not that I can think of right now on top of my head. You nobody. know, I consider a car. The car is basically a canvas. And what you turn it into is, you feel me? Exactly. You, and it's a work of art, and that's exactly. what these cars are. Exactly. So that's when you know you, you're looking for a car. You're looking for a car, you don't want no leaks. If you find a 350, even if it got 60, these motors originally go to hundreds of thousands of miles. All you gotta do is change the oil in them. That's every 3,000 miles, you change the oil in this car. The motor will last you for the rest of your life. All you have to do is change the oil. Yep. Every 3,000 miles. Every 3,000 miles. That's what's up, that's what's up, man. Okay, every 3,000 miles. That's what's up, man. You change the oil every 3,000 miles and your car is gonna run for the rest of your life. These vehicles, they go to hundreds of thousands of miles. Hundreds yeah. of thousands. I told you, header leaks, freeze plugs. Freeze plugs is always the first thing. The seals, you go to Vaveline, you roll up into Vaveline, they already have all the measurements in Vaveline. They know because for years, I have always taken my cars to do the seals in Vaveline. And the mechanic I had in 67 Avenue, Coraway, off of Coraway, laid out whatever the fuck he was back in the day, was the only person. Seals, freeze plugs, and your header gaskets. Yeah. That's it. That's your header gaskets. You get the miscreant gasket, you put them on there, you're never gonna have a header leak. You get your seals done in Vaveline, you get them done one time, you're rocking and rolling. Every 3,000 miles, you have an oil change, your motor will run forever. This is a matching number, 454 with 30,000, 36,000 original documented miles when I bought it. It came out to 950 miles a year for mm. a 45-year-old car. That's a class collector car. Oh, definitely. So, and then when I rebuild the motor, I have 2,000 miles on it. From a, I still snatch it out, did a rebuild so they can look inside of it. Brand spanking new, brand new. They were impressed when they opened that. They said, look, this guy's got aftermarket crank and this and this. Again, guys, like I told you, this car was owned by the owner of Berger Chevrolet's wife. It's a Chevy dealership in Canada. This car was part of a private collection. Mm -hmm. When you research and you Google Chevy Caprice 1975 454 big block, this is the car that's gonna pop up. This is lot K133 in Mika Auto Auction. Okay. Right here. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. this is the car that's gonna pop up. And yep. then you'll see all the history. And I have all the history from when I originally bought the vehicle to present. Everything, the music, everything that has been done to it. Like I said, I haven't driven it 400 miles since I've owned it because I've been busy working. I've been busy working, all I do is work, man. That's it, work, 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 that's it. I feel you. Work, because I told you, we have to live life with a purpose, man, you know? 
And like I said, I spent, spent all those years in the fitness industry just giving back to the community, helping people, you know, being involved. Because what I love about the fitness industry, why I worked in it for so many years, is because I felt good having an opportunity to help a lot of people. And you come in contact with a lot of good people and you learn from one another. Mm hmm definitely. You know, you learn from one another. Definitely. But yeah, Bobby, man, we appreciate you doing this with us, Thank man. You. The uh, the memory card is running out over here, man. <laughs> but I know the people would definitely appreciate your words, man. We appreciate this vehicle. We're going to go around the car one time. Yeah, man. And see. I would love to do something with you guys, and I would love you guys to plan a ride out. Uh -huh. Here to Orlando to have some coffee, man, and do something good. A ride out for a cause, man, right here, so we can do something. Because they only have these exotic cars. I want you guys. And we have a big auction coming up, like I told you. Yeah. Okay, with Jim Gall, you can contact us, and we're going to be selling cars and everything. If you guys have cars you want to get rid of, jewelry, watches, artwork with all authenticated, authenticity, certificates, bring it on by and let's work together. Okay, definitely. You know? yeah, man. Appreciate you, man. Y'all see the music, fam? Got that trunk beating. The gorillas in the trunk, 412s. Got the amps on there, everything. Trunk decked out. Beautifully done. Yes, sir. Y'all see it, fam. Got the heart under there. 454 big block heart. She runs strong, too. 454 big block. No leaks. So you can drive it from here to Miami, here to California. Beautiful 75 Caprice convertible, sitting on 28 inch Forgiato wheels. Upgraded brakes for that stopping power. Cause you know you running big block, so you gotta have that stopping power. You gotta upgrade the brakes. You gonna put that money into it, upgrade the brakes. So you got the Forgiato details on there. Everything. Forgiato badge. Everything. Matching steering wheel. Matching Forgiato steering wheel. Upgraded dash. Check out the details in here, fam. Also got Forgiatos on the middle molding. That's a side trim. All billet. Side trim. Everything all billet. Billet. Everything standard steel. Nice. Nice. Fam, y'all see what's going on, man. They ain't played with this build. They did not play with this build. Twenty-eight squatted. Y'all see how that thing sit, fam. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Forgiato dash plate. Forgiato everything. You hear me? Forgiato rear view mirror. Everything. Bro. Did you open the door for me? So, inside everything, bro. Got the boot, the convertible boot. The only thing I didn't do was the stitching and the seats, bro. Because I would have done that, bro, to my old boys down at 122nd, bro. Mm -hmm. Who was it that? that Daniel and Son still doing interiors? Daniel and Son paint. They paint. Who's the one doing the interiors in the Northwest back in the day? That's the only person that I would have last stitch the Ford Auto logo on my seats, bro. That's why I did the boot. But look at this boot. Boy, this boot came out disgusting, boy. Yeah, the boot looks good. The boot is on point. <laughs> Four Giotto door jam seals. And that's got the Caprice Classic on the seat belt. I wanted the Caprice logo on that. Caprice logo on the seat belt. Yes, sir. Let's see a door jam jewelry. Fam, this car is decked out, man. With the Mercedes Benz diamond stitching, you hear me? Yes, sir. See how the details, fam? Details. See how it's white, white, red uh, diamond stitching. Then you got the. I don't know what you call this piece by here, right here, but you, what you see is red. Yeah, that was painted. It was just like my, my light housings. Yeah. My light housings, they were painted to match. Remember, these light housings are supposed to be chrome. Chrome, yeah, I, I saw ah, that. man, them light housings are painted red. Listen, guys, I spent $5,000 in materials for this car. I know because the gentleman that painted the car, I went and bought the materials. It was 4000 
$380, if I'm not mistaken, in DuPont materials to paint this thing right here. This has got triple clear. I mean, this guy, this car was mint when I bought it, but this gentleman still sanded and blocked it six times to make it like an arrow, straight mm -hmm. like an arrow. Mm -hmm. Straight. Hey, okay, y'all see the light bezel. It's supposed to be chrome, but he painted them as well. Light bezel's red, custom grill, custom tag down there, clean as you know what. Look at all this. Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean. <laughs> Mr. Mm -hmm. Clean, that's what they call me, Mr. Clean. Mm -hmm. I could be Mr. Clean, listen, I could be Mr. Clean however you want me. Cause I'm known to have the best clean, the best drip, and the best fist scale, and the best mother of pearl in the world. Signed, sealed, and delivered. The Don. The Don. The Don. The Don. No mas. Do you also see the bumpers, fam? The bumper boats are red. That's details. Details, fam. Details, man. The fire truck of America. Twenty-eight, fam. Twenty-eight on that. Y'all drop in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Very beautiful car, in my opinion. Very beautiful car. Drop a comment. Let me know y'all opinion. This is a very beautiful car. This red, what is red so damn bright? That's the fire truck of the United States of America. The fire truck. Every morning when I wake up, the first thing you're gonna see on my Instagram is the Pledge of Allegiance. And when I come to work, it's the Pledge of Allegiance. The first thing I play in all my cars, including this one, when I get in, is the Pledge of Allegiance. This is the fire engine of the United States of America, the fire truck. The fire truck, y'all heard him. Y'all heard him, fam. The fire truck. The fire truck. Of the United States of America. The fire truck of the United States of America. Look, be all that you can be in the Army. I encourage all of you kids. I don't see them around here, but go to your recruiting station. The United States Army. Be all that you can be in the Army, guys. It teaches you discipline, and I'm sure a lot of your grandparents will be happy. I remember before I got my driver's license, when I was your age, I had to sign up for the draft. Mm -hmm. to be able to earn this right here, this driver's license. I had to sign up for the draft. Be all that you can be in the Army. All the information you need in education and in anything that you want to do to better your life, to teach you discipline, to teach you honor, and to teach you integrity. Because that's what life is about. Yeah, definitely, that's what life's about. All right, friend, y'all see what's going on, man. We done came to Orlando. We shot the fire truck of the United States 75. You hear me? Y'all see it? Y'all drop them comments, fam. And y'all already know, man. Until next time, keep it locked right here. Don't plan it live behind the scenes. You hear me?